Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with simultaneous equations where you have a quadratic and a linear equation. So let's dive straight into this. So step number one, I want you to label your equations. So equation one and equation two. And then what do you do? You take your linear equation, so this one here, and you make either x or the y the subject. So in this case, you can see it's easier to make x the subject because it's on already by taking this 2y over to the other side. So what does that mean? That means x would be equal to 1 minus 2y. And this is what you're going to substitute for x in equation number 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 2 bracket 1 minus 2y squared. So all I've done here is I put x in right there because x is equal to 1 minus 2y. And the rest of it, I just add along. So minus y squared is equal to 17. Now I will expand this bracket right there. You've got to be careful here. Some students may decide to multiply the 2 with what's inside the bracket first. You can't do that. You've got to deal with this square. So that would be 2, 2 brackets after that. So 1 minus 2y, 1 minus 2y, and then the minus y squared equals 17. Now you can either expand these two brackets or you can expand this first. It's totally up to you. Let's go ahead and expand that first. So that would be 2 minus 4y. And that has to go in a bracket. So that's another uh, error that students make. They don't put the result of this inside its own bracket. Okay, you must remember to do that. And then you have the 1 minus 2y from here. Okay, that just goes here. And then let's write this along. So make sure you're not missing any information there. And now I will expand these two brackets. All right, so the 2 will multiply with the 1. The 2 will multiply with the two, minus 2y, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and do that. So what is 2 times 1? 2. 2 times minus 2y is minus 4y. And then you have minus 4y times by 1, which is minus 4y again. And then minus 4y times by minus 2y is a positive, a positive 8y squared. And then I write all of this along. So minus y squared is equal to 17. So now I will just tidy up by collecting all the like terms. So you can see here, you've got like terms right there. And you've also got like terms right there as well. So that would be 2 minus 8y, minus 4y minus 4y, minus 8y. And then 8y squared, take away 1y squared, will be plus 7y squared. And that's going to be equal to 17. Now I want to make this into a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So just focus on equaling to zero on one side. This means I need to take this over to this side and two minus 17 will do that for me. But I also wanna start with a positive x squared, sorry, y squared. So it's gonna be seven y squared minus eight y and now I'll do the two minus the 17 and two minus 17 is minus 15. And now I can make this equal to zero. One useful thing to do here to look to see if you can do it or not is to see if you can divide by a common factor. In this particular case, there is nothing you can do. So you have to leave this as it is. But I do need to factorize this. Now to factorize this, you can use a number of methods, whatever method you're comfortable with. Um, you can use the AC method, which I'll quickly show you. And I do have two videos on how to factorize quadratics, so you can look that up. But very quickly, you do 7 times the minus 15, and that gives us, so that gives us minus 105. So I'm looking for the factors of minus 105 that multiply to give minus 105 and add to give me minus 8. 7 and 15, when you multiply them, give you 105. And if you do minus 15 and add 7, you can get minus 8y. So... What we do next is we write 7y squared and we write our minus 15 right there. And then in the middle, we'll add these two values with their y's. So it's going to be plus 7y minus 15y. Now, what do we do? We factorize here those. So this will be factorized with a single bracket. And that gives us, uh, if you take out the 7 and the y, we can do that. And inside the bracket, we'll have y plus one and then the minus sign just drops in here so we have minus and now 15y and 15 what's common between them is 15. 
And then we can open up a bracket now. So we can put a y here, and then we need something that will multiply with a minus 15 to give us a minus 15, which is a positive 1. And you will know you've done this correctly because these two brackets will always be the same. And like I said, you can go and see that video that I have on factorizing quadratics. So what are our two brackets going to be? It's just going to be 7y minus 15, and I've got that from here and here. And the other bracket will be y plus 1 equal to 0. So I will have here y would be equal to a positive 15 over 7, and y would be equal to minus 1. Now these are just my y values. I now need to go and find my x values. So I'm just going to quickly zoom out here, make this text smaller so I can fit this in. Right, now to find x, I will sub y equals 15 over 7 and y equals minus 1 into this equation because it's already in the form of x equals, okay? So if I do this one now, so x would be equal to, so I'm going to sub y in this, so it's going to be 1 minus 2 bracket 15 over 7, and that gives me 1 minus, so the 2 times the 15 is 30, so 30 over 7. Now let's assume that you can't use a calculator, so I'm going to make that 1 into a fraction, so it's going to become 7 over 7, so I can have the same denominator, and then 30 over 7, and then that would be 7 minus 30, which is minus 23 over 7. So as a coordinate solution, we can have x as minus 23 over 7, and y was 15 over 7, so that's one of them. And now if we do this one here, we try and squeeze this in. So this one, x is equal to, so now I'm going to substitute this y equals minus 1 right there, just as I did for the other one. So that's going to be 1 minus 2 bracket minus 1, x would be equal to 1, and minus 2 times by minus 1 is plus 2, so it's going to be x is equal to 3. So my second solution will be 3 and minus 1. And they are your answers. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can be updated when new videos are released. Bye for now and see you in the next one.